Hello guys, Sanjay here and welcome back to a new video in which I am going to show you guys how to root the MI Max 2. So we are going to continue the routing series on this channel and we are going to root almost every device that I am going to review too. So without further delay, let's get started. First of all, you need to have an unlocked bootloader on your MI Max 2 in order to follow this guide. And no, you cannot root the device with locked bootloader. There are processes by which you may do it, but I will not recommend you to do that. Now you need to download four files. First one is super SU zip file to root the device. Then we have lazy flasher zip file to disable the DM variety check. Third one is TWRP recovery file. And the fourth one is ADB folder. Once you download all these files, extract the adb folder copy the twrp recovery file into that adb folder once that's done we need to make sure that our device is in fast boot mode so switch off your device completely once the device is switched off hold the volume down button and power button together so that the device will boot into the fast boot mode once the device boots into the fast boot mode attach the usb cable to the device now hold shift button on your keyboard and press right click at the same time in any empty space in this folder or in the adb folder and you have to open this open command window over here thing or powershell window in this folder itself you cannot open it in some other folder once you do that write a command which is fastboot devices your device should show up over here now we need to flash the twrp recovery file and to do that write fastboot flash recovery space recovery name dot img now for the recovery name i'm going to copy the recovery's name over here and paste it in the powershell window and write dot img after that for me it is blue window which is powershell window but if it is showing you as command window or command prompt or cmd which will have black background do not worry all the commands which i'm using in this video are going to remain the same the TWRP recovery is flashed now and we need to boot into that recovery. And now as our device is in fast boot mode, hold the volume up button and power button together for around 5 to 10 seconds and the device will boot into the TWRP recovery. Once you see the MI logo over here, leave the buttons. Select swipe to allow modifications, go into wipe, select format data and write yes over here and all the data on your device will be formatted plus the device will be decrypted too you can root your device without formatting the data too but i personally prefer to format data for once and then root the device now go back go into reboot select recovery and the device will boot into twrp recovery once again now once the device boots into twrp recovery again copy the super su zip file and the lazy flasher zip file in the internal storage of your device as we have attached the usb cable to our device internal storage will show up on your pc or laptop once that's done going to install select the super su zip file and select swipe to confirm flash over here it is patching the boot image which means that it is totally fine if we do not flash the lazy flasher zip file but just in case if you do not get this thing or if your device is stuck in boot loop mode or the device is stuck on the mi logo then boot back into the twrp recovery and go into install select lazy flasher zip file and flash that zip file so that your device will boot normally but if you use the zip files which are linked in the description box below it will work just fine so you do not have to worry about anything now once that is done select reboot over here and select reboot to system now our device has booted into the system i have fast forwarded most of the part because that's not necessary like i was setting up the device and things like that i have downloaded the root checker application over here and when i try to check the root or when i click on verify root it does not verify the root that's because you need to open the super su application at least once when you boot into the device or when you boot for the first time and as i did that now and now if i click on verify root it will ask for super su permission which means that the device is successfully rooted which you can see over here so yes you have rooted your mi max 2 successfully and have already made guides on how to update rooted miui i'll give links of all those tutorials in the description box below or in the i button over here so do watch those videos in order to know more about your device or about routing procedures so yeah this is pretty much it for this video guys thank you for watching don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up if you liked it and if you have any more doubt sessions or queries regarding the routing guide then let me know about that in the comment section box below plus if you have rooted by using this method then do let me know about that in the comment section box below once again so yeah thank you guys and yeah most important thing if you have not subscribed to my channel yet then don't forget to click on my page right now and get subscribed because many more awesome videos like these are going to come real soon on the channel so yeah thank you guys thank you for watching